Howdy folks, welcome to Texas 2.5. It is a seriously nasty end of winter day here in Minneapolis. But we're going to fire up the old charcoal and get some skirt steaks going tonight. We're going to do some fajitas. Stick around. Well, last night I was watching YouTube too late and I saw Chef Johnny from Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine cooking up some amazing looking skirt steak fajitas and he taught me some things about skirt steak I never knew before. I'm going to put the link to his video down below, but he inspired me to go out and grab some skirt steak today and to do some fajitas of my own. They looked amazing. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of times when I'm watching YouTube barbecue channels late at night and I think, I got to do that soon. I got to try that recipe out. But there's very few times where I actually get up the very next day and go do it. Well, that was a great recipe. Check out Chef Johnny. He's the inspiration behind this video. And uh, I'm going to try it today with some skirt steak on my Weber grill. I'm going to get it hot. These things are going to cook fast. They're a good quality cut of meat. They're thin. They don't take long. And uh, they get a nice char on them, a lot like flank steak. So that's what we're going to do tonight. And uh, we're going to do it here. We're supposed to get, here it is, the middle of March. Uh, we were supposed to be at a banquet tonight. Our family was. The banquet got canceled because they're predicting, I've seen 6 to 9 inches of snow, and I've seen 12 to 15 inches of snow predictions. Uh, the storm just arrived here about 5 o'clock. It's about four hours behind schedule. Uh, it's moving slower than expected, which means it's going to hunker down over us for a while. And uh, it has initially showed up as rain and sleet and hail, which is nasty. So we're bunkered down here at our place. I got the cars all packed into the garage, but we're going to unpack the grill for 45 minutes here, get her fired up, and do a real short cook of some awesome beef skirt steak. Check it out. All right, y'all, we're working out of the laundry room today. Got my setup here on top of my little freezer. That's what happens when you got a wife and uh, two little ones. Sometimes you get booted out of the out of the kitchen. Some of y'all know what that's like. Anyhow, uh, here we have our High V Angus Reserve skirt steak. This is just under two pounds. It's a uh, looks like a pretty nice piece of meat. I picked out the biggest one they had. Uh, most of theirs were averaging about a uh, pound and four ounces, like 20 ounces or so. So the first thing we'll do is we'll get into this guy and uh, I'll show you how we're going to rub him down. All right, so he was folded in half inside that package, so we've got him all spread out now. And you can see these skirt steaks are nice and thin strips. Um, just like a belt, just like was said in the video I was telling you about. So um, I'm going to trim this up a little bit. I'm not going to take all of the fat off, but I'm just going to clean it up uh, a little bit so that that rub will be in contact with more of the meat. And then I'll bring you back. All right. I have trimmed them up and I've cut them into three good grilling size pieces. Here's the two bigger ones. Uh, these will be the main you know the best portions of the meat and then I have this little baby that was left over on the end so uh, again you don't take every little bit of fat and uh, I tried to get most of the silver skin but if there's a little bit of that on there it's not a huge deal because after these are cooked you're gonna be cutting them into small little strips for these fajitas not the end of the world what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season one of these up <clears throat> with you on the camera and then I'll do the other two and uh, bring you back when it's time to light the grill so, first layer, Morton Kosher salt. Just want to get a good base salty flavor. Not too heavy because I'm going to go on with three different layers, two more after this one, as I usually do with beef. Now, my second layer is going to be coming from Bootleg Spice Company. This is an outfit out of Minnesota, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about them right now because... I'm going to do an all Minnesota rubs and uh, sauces video here in the very near future. And Bootleg Spice Company sent me these spices out. They will be the Minnesota spice portion of that video, Minnesota rubs. And then I'll do some sauces from Paws Barbecue, which actually Phil in Florence is the guy who got me onto Paws Barbecue. And uh, I live in the same state with Paws Barbecue and didn't know about them yet. So uh, we'll, we'll do that video upcoming soon. What I'm going to be using today is called their Barrel House Blend. 
Uh, this is a low sodium rub of theirs, which is good for me because every layer of rub that I put on has um, salt in it. So I, I'm actually kind of pumped to find a low sodium one to cut back a little bit on that. Anyhow, their barrel house blend they recommend for burritos, tacos, chili, and several other things. I'm going to use them on fajitas tonight and give that a try. They do have a rub that they recommend for fajitas called Rum Runner 6, which is pretty heavy on the peppers, different kinds of peppers and chilies. And um, I used that the other night on a recipe with my family. We really enjoyed it. It was a little bit spicy. Um, my little girls had, had trouble with it. So I'm not going to use that again, even though my wife and I enjoyed it very much. And if you like a little bit more of a peppery rub, and I don't mean black pepper, I'm talking about um, chilies and peppers like that. Um, it has multiple, it doesn't tell you, it just says chili pepper blend, but it definitely has some chili pepper kick to it. So I'm not going to use that tonight, but I am going to use this barrel house and uh, that should have a good Mexican flavor as well. It smells very strong of cumin. And I'm going to use the uh, change over here to the big side. And we'll put this on pretty heavy because I really want to get a feel for uh, for this Barrel House blend and see how it tastes. It looks great. It's a very fine blend. It's, uh, I guess I'll show you on my glove. No big chunks in it at all. Super fine, powdery, dusty blend, which is good for a second beef layer. I don't want my chunky layer until last. Sort of that Montreal steak style finishing rub. And for that, you've seen me use this before, also from Bootleg, their Outlaw Surf and Turf Seasoning, which I use to finish my prime rib often. This stuff is awesome. I'm going to put some of that on there. I'll bring you back when it's time to start the grill. There it is, y'all. Beautiful sight. Snow and sleet coming down, but a hot chimney of charcoal ready to cook us some flank steaks. You know y'all are my best friends whenever I used the very last of my Outlaw Surf and Turf seasoning on this recipe tonight. You know I love you when I used it up for a video because that brand new bottle sitting in my kitchen, that is going to be for a lucky winner when we hit a thousand subscribers. Outlaw Spices sent me those out those five bottles, one of each of all their spices to sample, but I'm only gonna sample a couple of them because I'm gonna send two or three of them to the winner of our 1,000 subscriber giveaway here in a few weeks. So y'all be looking for that. I'll be definitely sending um, the Outlaw Surf and Turf, which I think is their best spice that I've tried so far. And I'll certainly be sending their Prohibition Pig Rub, which I won't even get to try. It sounds awesome, but I'm going to send that to a lucky winner here when we hit 1,000 subscribers. Let's get this meat on the hot coals. I tell you what, I'm glad this is a short cook, and I think we got it going just in time. It is coming down out here. Let's get these flank steaks on. Right directly over the flame, maybe three minutes on each side. Get us some nice char, then we're gonna get inside and call it a day. It's coming down. It's been three minutes. Let's see what we got. This guy was the first one down. Get him a little closer to the char there. Oh yeah, that one's looking nice. Oh baby. Looking good, y'all. Maybe three more minutes. All right, we've done three minutes on each side. Let's see if the second side did the same or better. About the same. I might leave these on here just a minute longer. Ooh, that one's looking nice. Actually, I'm going to pull this littlest one and rest him. But I'm going to let those big guys get a little bit more char, maybe another 60 seconds on each side. We'll be inside in a minute. It's going to be good. All right, y'all, it's taste time. Let's cut into this and make sure that you know what the grain is doing because as Chef Johnny explained, it's probably doing the opposite 
of what you would think. So make sure you know which way it's running because if you cut a skirt stake the wrong way, it is going to be much tougher than it was otherwise. But this is looking great so far. You got nice char on the outside. It's really good. Let's take a taste of this. <clears throat> All right, here's a nice piece right from the middle. Looking delicious. Still got a little bit of pink left. Pulls apart. Let's see uh, where it's going to pull apart at. I don't want to fling juice everywhere. Anyhow. That is so good. I pick up that cumin right away from the barrel house, but it's not overpowering. The salt from that kosher salt we put down first is awesome. This is good, but let's put together a fajita. That's going to be even better. Check this out. We got our little soft mini flour tortilla. First thing we're going to do is put down a little bit of refried beans right in the middle of that. Then, got some queso fresco we're going to plant in those refried beans and let that melt a little bit. You got some white cheddar cheese sauce here. We just bought it at the grocery store, not homemade, but it was still delicious. We got our peppers and our onions. Let's get some flank steak on this bad boy. Whole bunch of it. So we're gonna overload this tortilla because we can. Little guac. Little corn salsa, my favorite kind. Little bit of sour cream. And of course, can't have too much queso fresco on there. Right over the top. All right, y'all, this is gonna be messy. I filled this as full as I should have filled a full-size tortilla. Here we go. Filled to the brim with meat and cheese and veggie goodness. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow. That is awesome. Chef Johnny, thank you for that idea. That was an amazing dinner tonight for our family. We already had some. I already had one of these. I knew what that, that that was going to be a good bite. These babies are awesome. I'm so thankful that I saw that video on YouTube last night. Skirt steak is fantastic. Makes great fajitas. All these ingredients make it awesome. We're eating good tonight here in Minnesota. Might be storming outside, but that Weber performer is a trooper. And we whipped up some awesome skirt steak fajitas tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to do that. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Don't forget, we have a brand new Facebook page, Texas 2.5. Check us out there, as well as a new shop, our official barbecue gift shop on Teespring. I'll put the links to all that down below. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. professional eats a messy fajita that's all i dripped y'all the rest of that fajita made it into my mouth <laughs>